Alright, welcome to part four of our missile launch game. Part four, we're going to be setting up our game over label, and we're going to also set up an energy meter. Right, so let's start. We're going to go to basic. You want to get a label here, drag it and drop it underneath the score, and let's rename it. It's going to be the game over label. And let's go to the properties here. Let's put the font size at 50. You can give a pick a color, whatever color you want. And then for the text, it's going to be game over. And we're going to uncheck the visibility on it. That'll make it will make it come up or be visible with the blocks editor. All right, so once you have those two things, we're going to work on our health or energy meter. We're going to need a label and let's drag it underneath our canvas and let's rename it. This will be our uh, energy label. And we're also going to need another canvas. So underneath, so this will be our energy level canvas. And for this, we're going to change the width to fill parent and our height to 5 pixels. And let's do this. Let's select that energy label. And for the text, we're going to name it or call it our energy meter. And I'm going to let you guys go ahead and pick a color. And I'm going to change the font size to 20. Alrighty. Okay, so once you guys have those two things, open up your blocks editor, and we're going to set up our energy meter. All right, so you're going to start by going to built-in definition and getting a variable. And this variable is going to be called energy. And we're going to set the variable, go to built-in math, to 200 pixels. And that's all you need to do for that. Next, you're going to go to built-in definition again and get a procedure without a result. And you're going to name this one draw energy line. So we're going to set up our energy meter here. And we, there's going to be two arguments that we're going to define. So you need to go to built-in and then definition and grab the name block and copy and paste it. And the first argument is going to be color. And the second argument is going to be length. All right, so we want to draw an energy line with the color and the length. And we're going to do this by setting our energy level canvas paint color. So under my blocks, you want to go to energy level canvas dot paint color and that should be towards the bottom so we're going to set the energy level paint color to and the value is going to be color so under my blocks and my definitions you'll find the one that says value paint or value color and that was set when we created an argument and next we're going to go again to that same energy level canvas and we want to find the one that says energy level canvas dot draw line that's going to be up towards the top here we go call energy level canvas draw line all right so we need to get a number so I'm just going to copy this one and set the value to zero and we're going to set the value of zero for each of these except for x2 here. We're going to set the x2, which is our width, to the value length. So remember, when we create an argument or a procedure, to find it, you're going to go to My Blocks and My Definitions, and that's where it'll be. So you want to find the one that says Value Length. All right. And once we have that finished up, 
we're going to create another procedure. So you're going to go to built-in definition, grab the procedure without a result, and this one's going to be called display energy. And we're going to create this by using two different colors. So what we're going to be looking for is the one that says draw energy line. So under my blocks, my definitions, it's going to be this one right here that says call draw energy line. And we actually need two of them, so I'm going to copy and paste it. Our first color that we're going to need is white. So if you go to built-in colors, you want to scroll down to the one that says color and white. And for the length, we're going to set it to the energy level canvas um, dot width. So under my blocks, go to energy level canvas, scroll down to the bottom, and select the one that says energy level canvas dot width. And then for our second one here, we're going to set the color to red. So under built-in colors, we're going to select red. And then the length will be um, for the global val value for energy. So under my definitions, the one that says global and then energy. All right, and then the next thing we need to do is set up another procedure to update the spaceship. So we're going to go to built-in definition, grab another procedure without a result, and let's name it update spaceship. All right, so what we want this uh, procedure to do is update the energy. So we're going to go to my blocks, my definitions, and get the one that says set global energy to. And we're going to use, um, we're going to go back to my definitions again, and you want to get the one that says global energy. And we're going to go to built in and math and get subtraction. And we're going to subtract it by 20 pixels. So I'm going to copy this number here and type in 20. Now we also need to add some stuff. Okay, so, and I need some more room. So what I'm going to do is click on the little triangle. And when you do that, you can minimize the block, in case you didn't know that. Um, we're also going to call uh, the display energy to come up. So we'll go to my blocks, my definitions, call display energy. And we're also going to set up an if then do statement for the energy level. All right, so under built-in, you're going to go to control. And you want to get the very top one, the one that says if test, then do. And we're going to set it to test the amount of energy. So if the energy equals zero, then we're going to have it bring up our game over sign. All right, so let's go to uh, math here. And let's get the equal sign. And let's go ahead and we can copy this here. And we can copy this one as well. And we want to set it to zero here. All right, so if the energy is equal to zero, then we want our screen, um, our game over screen to come up. So what we need to do is set up another procedure. So built in definition, procedure without a result. We're going to call this one game over. And we've got to set some stuff up on it. All right, so we want to set the game over, la the game over label to visible. All right, so under game over label, you want to find the one that says set game over label dot visible. And we're going to make that true. So we can go ahead, let's copy this one. Control C, Control V. We want to set the energy level canvas to visible. We want that to be false. So energy level canvas. So we can copy the false one here. That'll make the uh, energy level canvas go away. All right, so we have those two things. 
Now we can set it up in here. So under my blocks, my definitions, you're going to get the one that says call game over. So when the energy gets to zero, the game over procedure will happen. That will bring up the game over label and the canvas will no longer be, the game canvas will no longer be visible. Um, we also want um, this game canvas right here. That's what I was talking about. That's the energy level canvas, which we want to go away to. All right, so both the energy level and the, the game canvas will be um, invisible when the game is over. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pause the video, bring up the emulator, and then we'll try this out. One last thing that I need to do, we need to do, is when the asteroid collides with the spaceship, we need it to update the spaceship. So you need to go to My Blocks, My Definitions, um, and go ahead and grab that block. It'll be the one that says um, uh, Call Update Spaceship. So it'll be down at the bottom. You'll get this procedure and put it up there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and restart the emulator, and then we'll check this out and see if it works. All right, so now you can see, once we've put that in, that your energy meter is showing up. Okay, I'm going to let the asteroid hit me. When the asteroid hits the spaceship, you can see the energy meter going down. And I can move around, I can fire, I can hit the target, and my score goes up. And basically, I'm going to let it kill me here. So the energy meter is set up to 200 pixels. Each time it touches it, it goes down 20 pixels. So about every, so 10 hits, and then you'll have your game over. So what we need to do is put in a start button, and we'll do that in the next video. So once you've gotten that to work, you are done with part four.